Dupilumab is a monoclonal antibody used to treat moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, asthma, and nasal polyps accompanied by chronic rhinosinusitis in adolescents and adults. In this video, let's find found. What is Dupilumab? What class of drug is Dupilumab? What is Dupilumab used to treat? Who cannot use Dupilumab? What are the side effects of taking Dupilumab? How does Dupilumab make you feel? How to use Dupilumab? What is Dupilumab? What class of drug is Dupilumab? Dupilumab, sold under the brand name Dupixent, is a monoclonal antibody blocking interleukin-4 and interleukin-13, used for allergic diseases such as eczema, atopic dermatitis, asthma, and nasal polyps which result in chronic sinusitis. It is also used for the treatment of eosinophilic esophagitis and perigonodularis. Dupilumab is the first treatment for eosinophilic esophagitis approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. The FDA considers it to be a first-in-class medication. What is Dupilumab used to treat? In the U.S., Dupilumab is indicated for the treatment of patients aged 6 months and older with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis whose disease is not adequately controlled with topical prescription therapies or when those therapies are not advisable. In Europe and Canada, the drug for this indication is approved for patients aged 6 years and older. Dupilumab is indicated as an add-on maintenance treatment of patients aged 6 years and older with moderate to severe asthma, characterized by an eosinophilic phenotype or with oral corticosteroid-dependent asthma. However, the drug is not indicated for relief of acute bronchospasm or status asthmatica. Who cannot use Dupilumab? Hamster protein hypersensitivity. Vaccination. Acute bronchospasm, asthma, corticosteroid withdrawal, and status asthmaticu. Eosinophilic pneumonia and vasculitis. Helminth infection. Pregnancy. Breastfeeding. What are the side effects of taking dupilumab? Dupilumab can cause allergic reactions, conjunctivitis, and keratitis and, due to its immunosuppressive effects, reactivation of cold sores. In clinical trials, people receiving dupilumab had decreased levels of T-helper cells. Pharmacodynamics Dupilumab is an recombinant human IgG4 antibody to the IL-4 receptor that works by inhibiting the activation of certain pro-inflammatory cytokines that are implicated in the pathophysiology of several allergic and atopic conditions, including asthma, chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps, and food and environmental allergies. How does Dupilumab work? Type 2 inflammatory processes in various allergic and atopic conditions, such as asthma and atopic diseases, involve the type 2 helper T cell, Th2, immunity. Upregulation of this type 2 slash Th2 pathway is commonly observed in other inflammatory conditions and the activation of Th2 cells is linked to the production of Th2 associated cytokines, such as interleukin, IL-4, IL-5, IL-9, and IL-13. IL-4 and IL-13 play a central role in inducing inflammatory conditions such as allergic risk, asthma, and atopic dermatitis, by regulating type 2 inflammation and immune function. These inflammatory cytokines work by modulating gene expression downstream of receptor signaling, regulating Th2 cell differentiation, and activating inflammatory cells such as mast cells and macrophages. Half-life. In single-dose pharmacokinetic studies, the mean half-life of dupilumab following intravenous or subcutaneous administration ranged from 4.8 to 7 days in rats and 11.7 to 20.5 days in cynomalgus monkeys. How to use dupilumab? Atopic dermatitis. Indicated for moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, not adequately controlled with topical prescription therapies or when those therapies not advisable. 600 mg, i.e., 2 300 mg injections, SC once, and then 3 mg SC every other week. Can be used with or without topical corticosteroids. Moderate to severe asthma. Indicated as add-on maintenance treatment for patients with eosinophilic phenotype or PO corticosteroid-dependent asthma. 
400 mg SC once, then 2 mg Q2 weeks, or 600 mg SC once, then 300 mg Q2 weeks. 600 mg initial, then 300 mg Q2 weeks for patients with PO corticosteroid-dependent asthma or comorbid moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, for whipilumab is indicated. Severe chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps, CRSWNP. Indicated as add-on maintenance treatment. 300 mg SCQ2 weeks. Eosinophilic esophagitis. Indicated for eosinophilic esophagitis. 300 mg SCQ week. Paragonodularis. Indicated for treatment of paragonodularis, PN. 600 mg SC once, followed by 300 mg Q2 weeks. Are there specific concerns about dupilumab and pregnancy? This drug should be used during pregnancy only if the benefit outweighs the risk to the fetus. US FDA pregnancy category, not assigned. That's all the information about dupilumab we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.